Hello everybody, welcome to the third video of the day and this is new content drop and we're going to go over like how the side quest works for this month. There are a few things to note with this, I mean if you're looking for the objectives, because hey like these aren't only the objectives you're going to see this month, there are some more, they drop tomorrow. So if you've uh, seen the forum thread that's uh, been dropped from this, you'll know that these start on the 10th, they're the ones like uh, on screen right now. If I can move my stuff around, there we go. So 10th of March starting, and they, they kind of like give you um, all those different ones, those, um, what are they called, like Captain Britain ones, so you get some more shards, and uh, we'll go over that tomorrow. The quest is done in the weekly matter, as a lot of you know, and also as you complete d different things, you will get certain things. The objectives, which you'll probably see different ones, like these are the um, Cavalier and Upwards, Thronebreaker, which I am, objectives, in that you have to uh, use certain champions, uh, you see certain um, uh, a woman champion, female champions, to uh, defeat um, you know the the end bosses. And it's a very straightforward, um, straightforward thing. This week, there's no disc to unlock the path. It's just a normal unlocked path for two of the different uh, champions. If you want to know the, I've put a link in the description to a Google Drive. There are a few people that requested a spreadsheet version of something I created a little while ago. So if you've seen that video, which I think it was on Saturday that I produced the spreadsheet, which in question is the one that's on screen right now. It just kind of breaks down the kind of volumes of things of the different paths. Uh, I've put that um, in the video description, but also I've put into the description of this video because it has been requested. So, you know, for each week, what you get back from different paths, there's a kind of a breakdown there, you know, just for people's interest. If they are interested in it, if they're not, they're not. There's also the Women of Power solo event which just by using female champions you're able to smash through uh, certain bits of content I, I would say with this it is best to do uh, practice practice makes perfect and I will be doing another video devoted to this uh, breaking down some number crunches which I I'm just kind of finishing off right now after I've done this video uh, so I'll just like number crunch some stuff down uh, for you but uh, what I want to do is kind of focus mainly on this one which is there's a there's a lot to this to be honest like to the M, M boss where it's got selectively special two, all special attacks are unblockable, the defender is immune to all forms of power manipulation, every seven seconds the next buff triggered by the attacker is immediately modified, each effect blah 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 blah, every seven seconds the next debuff activated on the defender is immediately purified, each time this triggers the defender gains 25% of power. Um, yeah, so there's going to be some stuff there to kind of go, okay, um, what's the best here? I'm kind of thinking like um, Doctor Doom, with uh, White Magneto uh, for, for that, potentially. Uh, but then, you know, Human Torch, obviously, for the win. Power Control meets uh, as well. Um, uh, less buff-based champions, maybe. And also Conflictor, because Power Snack and, and Conflictor kind of seem like, they're kind of like punishing two different things. Don't have loads of buffs. Don't have loads of debuffs. Those kind of like uh, elements right there, at least to know that you can rotate around the passive because um, I think even though it's a passive debuff, will they shrug off passive debuffs? I don't know with Conflictor. I'm going to test it out in a second. Uh, but also we're going to go down this route uh, right here. I'm just going to do one clear. Um, you know, I just want to make this a short video. There's not much going on for the month, uh, really. Um, Icarus, uh, we're going to do something right there. And uh, that's probably going to be like... Um, yeah, I think uh, Angela's going to go against Icarus, I want to say. But um, I will definitely bring Human Torch in. Ignore the team I've got. So let's just finish off with some of the stuff for the side quest, and then we'll go in for a first clear uh, of this week. So yeah, not much going on for the rest of the month. Now the calendar, which is meant to drop uh, March 9th, uh, funny enough, has not dropped yet. If you kind of like go and check out your calendar right now, it's not actually there. Uh, and that's going to be, that's a bit, it's a bit annoying to not have it drop, but some of the crystals I don't think have dropped either. It's like, yeah, if you kind of go in game right about now, it's like, it's it's not. So I think it's meant to start tomorrow. So I'll do like um, a full kind of like breakdown of like crystal shards, I think as of tomorrow. And I think learning of when the cast and crew crystal shards finished as of today is a good kind of like marker point of like when it's going to, when things start, when things end. Uh, yeah, nothing really else uh, to kind of like mention the crystals, which um, again, it says it goes live then, but I gotta be honest, I I'm just checking in game and mm, yes, no, that ha those both have dropped, uh, but the shards have not overly. So there's, there's like some stuff has dropped, some stuff, stuff hasn't. So it's like, it is what it is. Yeah, I think that's really it. I think we'll just get into the, just a bit of grind here in some of the side quests and uh, just take it from there. Um, 
or you can do all difficulties as well. I would recommend it. If you can do as many difficulties as possible, go do it because, um, you know, it's going to be beneficial. So let's kind of like chart that team uh, that I um, I said about. So I'll just give it a tester. So I'm going to give Human Torch, especially to deal with that Mephisto that I want to take on first. And uh, then the Icarus side of things. Uh, who's picked? Somebody's picked Sorcerer Supreme. So I want to give that props to whoever that was. Uh, maybe not then. Maybe that's the easy path and no one's chosen it. Was it America Chavez? I think it's America Chavez then. Uh, if anything. In any case, well, we'll kind of like we'll see, we'll see we'll see what it is on on the route. So as I said, I'm going to use uh, Doctor Doom. I'm going to use uh, White Magneto, and uh, put him. I'm going to rank him up actually. That's another kind of thing. Another story for another day. I'm going to keep Medusa there because I quite like her. And then who else for that route? I think that's really it. I think just have a quick preview. Love the preview button. Got to be honest, having the preview button in game is so much so much more enjoyable. Uh, America Chavez is the mini. Come on, game, come back. There we go. Uh, America Chavez, uh, Kabam Stead. Good old Kabam Stead. And it is come back. While below 30% max health uh, becomes supercharged. While close to the defender, the attacker gains a weakness debuff every three seconds, reducing their attack rating by 10%. Okay. Then we've got make a stand. The defender has in, in, indefinite protection, reducing or damage received by 90%. This goes on to cooldown for 15 seconds when knocked down. When a defender is knocked down by a heavy or special attack, they become debuff immune for, uh, for 8 seconds. I might look to, again, human torch it with that one. But I am thinking about the idea of kind of like if I'm weakness debuff, then if I shrug that off, it might be kind of like a crossbones type thing. Don't know. I'm kind of like I've, uh, trying whatever here. I think human torch is basically going to be a kind of absolute G for this. But let's... um. Let's give it a crack. Let's give it a live play. Let's kick things off with a little Nebula fight. Now, with Nebula, because she gets that lovely regen. I mean, look at me. Like, I'm just parrying heavy here. I'm just kind of avoid the Icarus. There are a lot of champions that play well around Icarus, but I'm going to be as careful as possible with this. Mainly because, like, it's better, we always say, like, it's better to be safe than sorry. And if I can get up to, like, two SP2s or maybe three SP2s, I can get that Petrification Ray, which is going to petrify and uh, hopefully do like a good amount of damage for me uh, with the um, punishment that's going to be sent back her way. So there's a second Petrify going in. You can see as well all the health is being reduced, not reduced, being sent back at her. Because, you know, we did uh, we did a little uh, thing and drop. Damn it. That's the biggest problem as well. It's just kind of like this, um, this degeneration. That's the biggest problem of trying to like rotate around it. So maybe some other champions would have been better for this, uh, but um, it should be fine. It should be absolutely fine. So just calmly, calmly getting, getting, getting around it. It's okay. We're going to do one more in a second. Do that. Uh, I'm noticing as well the Fury buffs are going off really, really quickly. Like Normally, like, is Icarus that kind of like speed? But it's damn, that's kind of like ticking off very quickly. There we go. What's that done? Here we go with the America Chavez fight. Now, for this one, it's case first of all. You've got to try and bring down that uh, that uh, protection. And the great thing about having guidance on. So, by the way, as well, like just to kind of explain explain something. Uh, yes, I am on Nova Flame at the moment. Should I have done that? I don't know. I just wanted to kind of get this fight done as quickly as possible. So, whilst the champion enemy champion gets that. Um, Really describe it. That was good evade there. Uh, while the champion gets that uh, debuff uh, immunity, right, you still can passive parry with White Magneto. White Magneto just opens up this fight to be kind of like as soon as like you. I have to do like a separate video breaking down like all these like champion interactions um, in like a separate video, like a like week one kind of like best champions to use. Got to be honest, I don't think it's too ridiculous. However, though, I kind of feel like if you've got um, White Magneto, Human Torch, and Doctor Doom, and as well like certain champions that play into some of the nodes, like Icarus is on that route, and then what's on this route? Recharge, Invade. So both champions have 100% block, oh, block penetration. Oh, I hate that one. Um, so yeah, you might have to use a champion that kind of penetrates more on the block. Uh, I think it's like Corvus Glaive is very good for that that route. And then the end boss fight, which is uh, Scarlet Witch. 
which has uh, selectively special two powerful defender. It's immune to all forms of power manipulation. So, oh uh, yeah, Doctor Doom may not be the best option there. But um, Human Torch, like Human Torch, is like absolutely demolished through this. Um, I don't know, Mister Mister Fantastic may be able to do some stuff. Like if I kind of completely load up uh, this. So that's a problem with all power manipulation. So that means that I can't power control. So let's just see like that in action. Before I kind of like resolve uh, myself to go like, oh, let's go Human Torch. Let's um, let's kind of like power up my Doctor Doom and see what you can do right here with um, all this stuff. I want to say that it's going to be able to shrug off. Yeah, so it's all kind of like being shrugged off right there. Uh, but at the same token, I can still... Uh, oh no, I didn't actually... No, I'm actually I'm fine. I was thinking to myself, do I, did I actually need to do what I did? I suppose we've got to like because we can't power control. Oh, I didn't get. That's weird. I didn't get the other swipe for that one. So, yeah, so that and I can't power manipulate. Okay, well that kind of gives you an idea right there on the extent of like how that's going to be good, bad, and indifferent. Um, it's kind of annoying with the SP2 side of things. That's the SP2 for this enemy is very very potent, and you got to. Avoid that, and then that beam. It's a double beam. Okay, fine. It's not getting me on a single swipe. It's been a while since I've gone against this champion. Right, I'm going to end this now by throwing off my SP2 as quickly as possible before I die. Which I will. Oh, okay. Well, that's a shame. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, finish off with Human Torch. Yeah, the the immune to power manipulation. Uh, that's, that's pretty annoying, but it's not ridiculously bad, especially from like you know what, we can just do this now, and it's just boom, 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 and then, I don't know, heavy attack, bye. So, Human Torch, I think, would be the one to, to go the way with, and but that uh, Magneto uh, passive parry is uh, it's very, very nice and effective and helpful. It's definitely nice completing this, because like, as soon as you do, look at all that. Look at all the stuff you get from kind of like just doing that. Those chests uh, are quite nice. I think the, if Command went down this route, it's actually very nice, I think. very re feels quite rewarding from doing this on a weekly basis just to kind of see like you know less effort or less movement for the extent of what you get back so that's kind of nice i rate that i rate that a lot and that i think is it that has been the video because like that's that's pretty much the quest it's a very straightforward time as i said one other video today that will be focusing on it and i'll be working on the cavalier cheat sheet which is uh you know going to highlight a lot of these kind of like nodes for the cavalier difficulty uh what's everybody's thoughts on this and uh yeah i might do like a separate video and try and do that fight better or do the um the other paths better and all that stuff but uh yeah apart from that like you know human torch white magneto you know it's going to be doing you a solid thanks for watching this video check out some other content it's located on screen right now and i'll see you in the next one whenever that'll be cheers everybody Bye bye